Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Ali. And I'm Kelsey. We're both Google Cloud engineers, and today we'll be talking about how adopting custom org policies allows customers to speed up the process for authoring guardrails. We'll be running through a short scenario to demonstrate how this works. In this video, I'll be playing the role of a security administrator for Pistache.io, a nuts to service and completely fake company. And I'll be playing the role of myself. Hey there, thanks for meeting with me. I'm a security administrator and representative of Pistache.io. Have you heard of it? We're very passionate about delivering nuts as a service to our customers. So naturally, I'm a bit anxious that our GKE clusters are not being properly encased with a secure, hard outer shell. Kelsey, Google has great perimeter security in its data centers with electric fences, surveillance, and everything. Yeah, but I would also prefer our GKE clusters to only deploy authorized images, meaning we should only allow images to be sent to GKE if they've passed our security checks and are validated as safe. Can we get an org policy for that? Uh-huh. This question sounds familiar. Remember when you had asked me the same thing last year? At that time, it would have taken roughly six months. But don't worry, I've got great news. As of today, Google Cloud supports the creation of custom org policies directly. In fact, you can create your own GKE custom org policy before this video is even over. Whoa, that's quick. How exactly? Well, let's do it right now. Sounds good. With custom org policies, you can define your own constraint based on the REST representation of a cloud resource. So to secure our GKE container images, I need to find the corresponding attribute in the GKE cluster REST resource? Uh-huh. Oh, there it is, binary authorization. Nice. Now let's create a custom constraint YAML file for that attribute. Don't you need to tell GCP to use this custom constraint? Yes, exactly. Use the gcloud org policies set custom constraint command to make your custom policy go live. Wait, I should probably tell our employees, we call them pistachio nuts, before we enforce this policy, just in case. Yes, this policy can be disruptive in your organization. However, soon you will have the ability to set the policy in dry run mode, which is essentially an audit only mode. The audit logs report on possible violations rather than actually blocking unauthorized images. So with dry run, you can be sure that the employees, the pistachio nuts, will continue launching those nuts nonstop when the policy actually goes live. That's sick. So this policy won't disrupt our pistachio delivery service. Not at all. To learn more about custom work policies, check out the documentation. The link will be in the description. 